This is Charles Dickens's A Christmas Carol, a story of an old man's journey to learn the true meaning of Christmas. The story begins in London, England in the mid-1800s. Come with us now to that merry old time and the horrors that quietly lie beneath. Starts out in Christmas Eve, December 24th, very old London, England. What ho, and a Merry Christmas! And to you, my sir. Good eve to you and to all the family, my good sir. Oh, there's the class. Thank you, Governor. And to all of fine Eve. Enough of these pleasantries. Onward. Here we now are at Marley and Scrooge's Bookkeeping and Linen Service. <laughs> Ah, oh, my dear Mr. Scrooge, merry, happy holidays to you. Bah, humbug! Christmas is for losers! Oh, you don't mean that, sir. Oh, fooey! Oh, hello, my g good man. May I speak with Mr. Marley? He died seven years to this day and hasn't had due appearance yet. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you must be Mr. Scrooge. Indubitably, I am. And what do you want? We're collecting for the charity fund. How much can we put you down for? Not one penny. Oh, you wish to remain anonymous? No, I wish to remain alone. Ah, oh, there's the club! About tomorrow, sir. Oh, I suppose you will want the day off then. If it's not too inconvenient, sir. Picking a pocket every December 25th is an inconvenience. But it's just once a year, sir. <laughs> Very well. But be here sharp in the morning next day. And so Mr. Scrooge ventured home. As he approached his door, he saw a peculiar apparition. His journey became the face of Marley, his partner, his former partner. What's this? You more gravy than a grave. He entered his home and stood by the fire. Suddenly, his former partner stood before him. Jacob, what are these chains? I forged these chains, driving life thick by the lick. Lick. <laughs> but you were a good man of business, Jacob. That kind was my business. You will be visited tonight by three spirits. Expect the first one at midnight. Ah, oh, there's the clock. You, you frighten me, Marley. Look to the window and see the spirits who are doomed to drag their chains. Scrooge retired with his nightcap to his bed to await the first spirit. Arise, good Scrooge. I am the ghost of Christmas past. Long past? No, your past. Take my sleeve and fly with me. Who is that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who is that lonely boy in the deserted school? His parents have left him. That boy is me. My father has long forgotten, had long forgotten me, but gave me his advice. Save your pennies, Ebenezer! Now let us move on to another forgotten time. Well, bless my soul, it's old Fuzzywig. Yes, and look how little it took to make his people happy. He was the best employer. Oh, there's the class. And look, it's Belle. She was quite taken with me. That's no secret. Ebenezer, I fear you have another master. You love money more than me. I love... I do love money. That is true. Now that he's here to your home, to wait the next day. Yes, 
Come closer, sir, and know me better. Who are you? I am the ghost of Christmas present. Know me better. Take my sleeve and let us fly. Spirit, who are these people? Ha! Huh. This is your bookkeeper, Bob Cratchit, with his family. Mother, all the children are here. But Arthur, where can she be? Here I am, Father. I had to work very late. But now you are here, my dear. Where is the goose, Mother? Oops. <laughs> ah. Ah, oh, there's the clock. Yes. Of course, Mother. He was the best ever. He makes people grateful for their blessings. God bless us all! Spirit, what has become of Tiny Tim? Oh, I see a vacant place by the fireplace. An abandoned crutch, if you will. If these shadows are not changed... What do I see beneath your roof? <laughs> you don't want to know. I do, I do. Two children are beneath my robe. One is want, the other is ignorance. How? Oh, fear ignorance the more. Take me home, spirit. I can't see these visions anymore. As you will. Spirit! Spirit! Oh, I think I fear you most. All I know is that he died last Tuesday. Then we'll go to his funeral. Oh, I don't mind going to a funeral as long as I'm served a lunch. Who are these they talk about, spirits? Hello, Joe. What have you got? Well, we all met then. I have his bed curtains. Stole them while he was lying. Oops. Stole them? Stole them as he was lying there, do you say? And I have his bed sheets. And I have his cufflinks. Uh, well, bless me, I don't even have a shirt. Well, good night. Right then. Spirit! Where, where do these things belong to? Where are they going, spirits? What? Whose grave is this? No, don't make me look. The tombstone. Oh, spirit! What can I do to change these shadows? Give to the poor. Become a better person. Take me home, spirit. Scrooge wakes the next morning and opens his sashes and throws up his stash. <laughs> Say, what time is it, boy? And what day is it? White Christmas Day, sir. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Oops. Oh, the spirits did it all in one night. So, <laughs> say, boy, do you know the turkey in the butcher's window? I should say I did, and it's as big as I am. A oh, fine boy. A remarkable boy. Go and buy it, and if you return in a half of crown, <laughs> you'll get it all for me. Oh, there's the cloth. Oh, I am a new man. I must be off to Bob Cratchit's home. Here's a toast to Mr. Ebenezer Scrooge. I wouldn't toast to his health. Merry Christmas, Cratchits! I am happy to spread Christmas cheer and to deliver you a fine bird. Oh, my sir, it's the biggest turkey I've ever seen. And I am going to raise your salary, old Bob. You will be making two crowns for a week. Oh, my, sir. Oh, dear. Go 
God bless us all! And so Tiny Tim did live, and the Cratchits prospered. It was said that he did not know how to keep Christmas in his heart. It was said that he did not he did know how to keep Christmas in his heart. A Christmas Carol, directed by Tom Burback. Written by Vicki Peterson. Edited and technical help, Joel Peterson. Sound, Soren Peterson and Carrie Peterson. Actors, Jim Burbeck played Bob Cratchit. Marilyn Burbeck played the spirit of Christmas past. Tom Burback, narrator, and Scrooge after Joel got sick of playing him. <laughs> Vicki Peterson, Mrs. Cratchit, Ag, and Spirit of Christmas Present. Joel Peterson was first Scrooge until he got sick of it. Soren Peterson, Tiny Tim, and all the young boys.